Hey everyone, welcome back to another Paint With Me. I hope you all are doing well today and I hope that you find a little bit of inspiration in this video to pick up your brushes and start painting. Today I am going to be making a watercolor landscape. I am using a reference photo that I found on Pexels and I am using my Daniel Smith watercolors along with my silver black velvet brushes and as always my etcher sketchbook. So I'm only really using a few different colors on this one. I'm starting off with my background here and I'm using a mix of Quidacridone Rose and Shadow Violet. I do swap out the Shadow Violet a little later on for Moon Glow and at the end of it all I kind of wish I had just stuck with the Shadow Violet because I really love that color um, but I thought in the process that the Moon Glow might work a little better but yeah so those are the only colors um, that I'm really using here and then I also used a little bit of white gouache kind of watered down towards the end so very limited palette on this one as I mentioned I started off with a light wash to create the background color I kept the quinrose closer to the center I did dull it down a little bit with the shadow violet and then I used Moon Glow for the outer edges to keep them a little bit darker. And I also went in with a paper towel after the first layer, and I will do it again after the second layer. And I removed some of that paint where there is going to be some smoke in the end. So I know I said I do go in with some white gouache, but I wanted to remove some of that color and keep the gouache pretty light. I let that dry completely and then I came back in with my moon glow again and I am now creating some hills and some volcanoes off in the distance and I did use some water along the edges the lower edges because there was a bit of a foggy look to the photograph that I was um, using and I really like that so I was trying to keep the edges very soft this way I could go in and easily create some more fog if I needed to and just give it a, a softer look towards the bottom. I'm now going in and just creating some grooves and shadows to give a little bit more detail to some of these hills that are closer to the front.
and here I am going in with a little bit of white gouache just to bring some brighter pops to this cloud of smoke that's coming out of this volcano here and I did keep it pretty watered down just because I wanted it to feel kind of light and not too thick and heavy and I watered it down a little bit more in this part here where I am just kind of dragging it over the bottoms and tops of these volcanoes and just kind of creating a more smoky look. And finally I am just coming in with my Posca pen and quickly creating some stars here in the sky. And that is it. Here is the final look and let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please feel free to like and subscribe. I would love to see you in the next one. Thank you so much for watching. Bye!